Okay, I'm starting my video. Uh, Giorgio Beverly Hills and then Duke knockoff designer imposter Primo. Um, 80s icon, sunshine in a bottle, 1981. So in 2021, Giorgio Beverly Hills had its 40, 40 year birthday. So um, now 41 years it's been around. So if you saw my video, which you probably didn't because it started out with <laughs> a side Ellen Tracy fragrance. Um, last night, I just last night I had popped into like Dollar General and picked this up. It just caught my eye that just out of the corner of my eye and I didn't even spray it on myself. I just psh, popped some sprays in the air and it missed it on me a little bit, I guess. I walked outside in this warm June night here in South Carolina. And I was so delighted with myself. I was just like, I smell amazing, opulent, bright, sexy, I felt anyway. Okay, um, we've all seen this around and we've all seen this around. And I'm 45, so growing up, I saw and smelled this around everywhere. Although I really didn't have any interest in it. I was wearing other things, but I was very much aware of it. Uh, you had to be. So anyways, I really wasn't interested. But then last night I have like this sudden obsession. So I was reading up all the history and watching the couple of videos that I saw on YouTube, which by the way, I was, I was going to read some of the, there's articles about this fragrance all over the internet since it is an 80s icon for sure. Um, it's even been banned in restaurants in the past because of the powerhouse and popularity that it has been in the past. Um, powerhouse and then popularity, people wearing it into restaurants, movies, workplace, and so they had to ban it in some areas because it was just that powerful. Not that it was bad. Uh, there are powerhouses that I don't like, but suddenly now I'm just obsessed with this, so I had to go out and get this today. I was going to read like some of the articles at the end of the video for those of you who don't like reading yourself and then I thought no I don't need to do that you can look up the articles more importantly one of the videos I watched is by a reviewer that I really enjoy watching in his his uh YouTube channel I think it is super Jacob like like Jacob but with a d and I will actually put a link to his review um in the information for this video because I feel like he covers it all. He's so knowledgeable and I love to listen to him. I like to listen to all reviewers, but he is a true fragrance lover, very informative, and just the way he puts things into words is um, awesome. So I've just suddenly been obsessed. So I went immediately to my TJ Maxx today and got this. This has been reformulated a few times and I learned from watching videos to avoid if you can, to avoid the one that is manufactured in Spain, and this one is, because it's diluted garbage in comparison to the, especially in comparison to the original real deal. I think I'm going to go and try to um, buy a vintage bottle now that I'm just like suddenly obsessed with it. Um, but even just looking on Wikipedia, you can go into and look well, Wikipedia actually doesn't have loads of information, but lots of articles go into the packaging history, um, the history, just the history in general. But I've always liked the packaging. The bottle has changed a few times. This is different, of course, than the original. Um, I always like the uh, yellow and white stripes, very Beverly Hills. To me, this just really is sunshine in a bottle. So the packaging matches and it's very California, sunshine state, sunshine in a bottle. Did I just say that? Sunshine in a bottle. Anyway, um, so this one, all they had was the one in Spain. They said it was diluted garbage. I thought, well, it, it's all they have here. So I'm just going to buy it and see for myself. Anyway, got in the car all excited because I thought even if it's diluted, this is such a powerhouse that even if it's diluted, it's not going to be that weak. Well, you guys, I could have cried. I got in the car and I just like started spray sprayed a little. I was like, what? Sprayed a little more expecting to be this 
burst. I just wanted to be that delightful, that person. I wanted to be that person banging <laughs> the Giorgio Beverly Hills, bright, loud, and proud, and super 80s. I have found that I have so many different uh, fragrances and always accumulating more that nothing is, is pleasing me. So I've been diving into like old school fragrances in general. There's several that I want to review that I got at least samples of like Mitsuko, which I like, and uh, Youth Do, which I'm not a fan of. Um, you know, just because, you know, just to please me. So I'm not smelling like everybody else. Oh, this is the way they have Giorgio written on this bottle these days. So anyway, I get in the car and it is super diluted. You guys, it's garbage. I was so disappointed. I sprayed myself all over with the original stuff. It's one of those things where you could spray it once in the air and walk through it. And that would be more than enough. So there is no excuse for being able to spray this many times all over yourself and still not be banging this originally awesome fragrance. So um, this, this set of TJ Maxx was what, what was I say, $14.99. And I would really like to have the, a vintage bottle for my occasional pleasure. And um, of course, just sitting with my collection. I may keep this just as a reminder that I want to get like get a vintage bottle of it. But let me tell you this, this, um, they, they did a good job actually with this designer imposter. This designer imposter is way stronger to prove to you how diluted this is. The Dagon designer imposter is stronger and lasts longer than this version of Giorgio Beverly Hills manufactured in Spain. So from what I understand, the best, uh, you, what you really want is for it to be uh, made in the USA because it is an American brand, which I think I too, when I was a kid, and, and even as an adult, I just thought it was like Giorgio Armani. No, it isn't. It's just Giorgio. So it's American, not Italian. And I really like the way uh, Jacob says on his videos, he was like, nobody does California Hollywood glam, obviously, better than the USA and this fragrance is American and this is just truly Beverly Hills, California, sunshine in a bottle. And suddenly I just love it. So I'll list the notes, even though you could look them up, I will list the notes. I just wanna say that just I, I just suddenly love this and want to support this, especially in the summertime. I wish I had been like when I was at the beach, um, come across this, I just got back from the beach. I think this is especially good in like the summer evenings. I would have totally sprayed this on my walks on the beach at night, even though I had plenty of options to choose from. It, it just, to me, is like bright and opulent and like, psh, wow. And this is the first time in my life that I paid attention and felt that way about it. So I'm all the more disappointed in this bottle. Um, but I could have just, instead of getting this little bottle for 15 bucks, just got several more of these until I get a vintage bottle. I was so disappointed. It made me stress shop for more vintage things. <laughs> that I, I guess I'll just add to the collection, which I'll review separately. Like this was not in a box at Burlington and they're not supposed to sell it when it's not in a box. But this is old Revlon Sierra from the 70s. Um, and the nice young lady working there, I was like, I wanted to review it. And so she just scanned something else twice for like 10 bucks, which makes sense. That's appropriate price. Uh, and I'll review this separately. My, I'm sorry, I'm totally talking and you're not even contributing uh, because I'm driver boxing. So I've got my eldest with me. Um, I'll review this separately because I also grabbed this Ellen Tracy bronze, which I, I read. I don't hate this. You hate this. You hate Revlon Sierra. <laughs> um, I, I'll do a separate, separate review on this, but I think this is very strong. Like um, this still has its strength. And this is like Dr. Pepper with Amber and soap, in my opinion, but I'll do that separately. 70s banger. And um, I don't hate it. But this is like the opposite of this. This is this darker, thicker smell. And Giorgio Beverly Hills is bright and dazzling and opulent. So, and I wanted to say, 
that my youngest, who's 21, said that um, this smelt like uh, nice, a nice hotel, <laughs> like nice hotel soap and or shampoo or whatever. Mm-hmm. I can live with that. I love vacationing and traveling and being in nice, the smell of hotels, like nice hotels. Now, depending on what kind of hotel you're in, there's some hotels have ultra expensive fragrances that they pump through the hotel to make you feel like you're just loving it and having a wonderful time. But yeah, I like that vibe. So I just suddenly am in love with Giorgio Beverly Hills and I will be rocking it. Probably more of this because this is so crazy diluted. Like it just blows my mind how the one made in Spain. You guys don't even bother. I thought, like I said, oh, surely it can't be that weak because I've already explained it, but it really is. So um, try to hunt for the one made in the USA, preferably. And um, if not, in the meantime, this copies it. They did a good job. This copies it really well as far as being a body spray. I mean, but I want the real deal. I want the vintage real deal, even with that skanky animalic note that was taken out of it uh, in one of the formula. Well, like I said, everything's been reformulated, but one reformulates reformula. How do you say that? Reformulated. During one time in the process, they really took out that the rough edge about it. I guess I, I, I could deal with them taking the super rough edge part, but I, I still kind of want it. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I just want to be that person. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what I have to say. And um, I will be wearing it. And I'm going to put a link to S- Super Jacobs. I think I'm saying that right. His review. Uh, please watch it and enjoy it. I know I, I really enjoy listening to him. Um, and like I said, I was going to take the time to read even parts of articles of this 41-year-old 80s icon beauty. Um, but he does a really good job of going through the information and just being really beautifully, creatively discussing this fragrance. Um, let me go ahead and spray this one. Now, my eldest keeps thinking that, no, <laughs> that she's in hell from this one. But what she's really smelling is we sprayed this earlier. And I think this is what's k- killing you. Spray it on two different things. and let me. I'm smell. not going to spray this at all right now. Okay, well, I'm scared to even smell it. Okay, this I'm going to spray this diluted, Georgia. Spray it on this. Like... On my hand. Okay. Oh, that's, that actually is a nice little sprayer on it, though. Oh, that's this. I suddenly love it. I, I just love it. I feel like I feel like mm. being in a, a bomb, shiny red Ferrari, kind of like everybody talks about. And you don't love this one? I don't know how to feel about it. You don't know how to feel about it? I'm just loving it. I don't know what it is. And it's not because I'm old. I mean, I'm I am old, but... Like I said, when I was younger, I didn't really pay any attention. I was wearing Liz Claiborne and New West. And then, of course, as a teeny bopper, I wore, like, some Electric Youth by Debbie Gibson. <laughs> that was always gifted to me. And Maya used to say I looked like Debbie Gibson back in the day. We went to Debbie Gibson concerts. And, um, yeah, all that kind of stuff, all that jazz. You guys who are my age, you know what I'm saying. But I love... I love that it's an 80s icon, and I love that I will stand out, which pleases me sometimes, depending on my mood. Um. <laughs> have you anything to say, firstborn child? Let me smell it again. Yeah, hold your hand up. Lean over this way in the camera. It look, the way I'm sitting makes me look all big and bulky. No, it does not. You look good. And I see the appeal. Do you? I see the appeal in it. Lean it's. In. It's not my fragrance, like, I... Because you love your fruity, happy, I fruity like, florals. My go-tos are Pure Wonder. Uh, <laughs> so, for reference, my, go- my go-to my go fragrances are Pure Wonder. I'm pretty sure it's Twilight Woods by Bath & Body. Um, uh, Toasted Marshmallow, A Thousand Wishes, uh, A Queen Bee by Good Chemistry. 
and Bombshell by Victoria's Secret and Bombshell Cherry. And those are the kind of those are the scents that I mostly lean towards. And those are but all I, lovely. I also have I think it's Daisy Love or something like that. Is Mark that Jacobs. Like, yeah. And then you like your Mark Jacobs. I love that. And then I love uh the Gucci Flora and Gucci Bloom. Which I don't have a bottle of, but I also love the Atomic Rose. That's kind of my that's my line of fragrances that I, love. I was gonna say because um, because to put it in, in a broader, bigger picture for you, you love all those, but you also love Inicio Atomic Rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. And and you guys, I keep saying I just got yesterday or the day before my. My Tiziana Terenzi Spirito Florentino from uh, Semper with these crappy, cheap packages that they're now using. But I'm, I can't review that with you guys today. I want both of you because yeah. to review that. But I, we've just sprayed too much stuff today to review that. But I love it. I will say that. Um, yeah. I like... You, you like Baccarat, all right. I like Baccarat, but it's not a you, go-to for me. It's something I wear on special occasions, but I love it. It's still not your favorite favorite love, vibe on you. I though. love Dream Fuel by... It's not oh, that perfumery. was the oil perfumery, yeah. I love that. I also love, like, the At The Beach. I love... There was a candle fragrance at Bath & Body that, that, that they discontinued, but I'm pretty sure it's called Love Is Here, and it was, like, a black lid clear candle with a rainbow on it, and it smelled just like suntan lotion. That was, like, the ultimate bath uh sorry beach fragrance and i also like uh gucci I, guilty i think this is gonna be beautiful on because i'm going back to the beach you guys i live for summertime i see and why people like it let me smell your hand again i'm gonna but be rocking this at the beach and i guarantee you it's gonna turn some people on i know I, it will i just feel like i know I, i'll be loving it on myself i feel like it's kind of vintagey smelling it smells like mature for me. I don't. I don't hate it. I think it has kind of a shimmery, pretty vibe you, to you it. Mostly but... like more lighthearted things. So this is bold. This is rich. This is like back in the day. This is like rich people. I feel like I've like hugged a teacher and she smelled like that before. Like that's how it felt. Like I'm smelling it. I just know that walking. It's so funny when you're inside or outside and what kind of environment you're in. To, Totally affects your fragrance. You guys know that. And when I walked out, it was feeling beachy. I, we don't live on the coast, unfortunately. I grew up on the coast. It's killing me not to live on the coast. But we're not that far away. We're in a coastal state. But we had some beachy air last night when I, I walked outside at night. It just felt beachy. It's kind of humid, warm June night. And it was beautiful in that environment when I walked outside. You really just got to smell it in the right environment. I think I would not wear this in some small enclosed office area. I, d I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I think that's kind of where it's an off putter for me just because, like, I personally. be out in that breeze in the summertime. If I was in a convertible and the wind was blowing around and I wanted to smell like classy and like a grown woman, then and I wanted to like have a strong fragrance, maybe I would wear that with like a nice dress or something. But I just feel like it's kind of a strong fragrance for someone it's like me. It's not kind of strong. It's very strong well, if you smell the real deal. Me being gentle about it. But the reality, <laughs> the reality is it's an extremely strong. And I don't know. I don't see myself wearing that or being like, I want to wear this. Like, that's not. It's, I'm not jumping to get, get it on my skin. Or I haven't been my whole life. It just hit me out of the blue. I'm so glad it caught, like, the corner of my vision over on this did. And I was like... Well, uh, let me just pop it in the air to see, you know, I know I remember what it smells like. How can you not? You don't, that's another thing though. You don't forget the smell. No, it's, it's memorable. For, it for is sure. memorable for sure. I mean, and, and those of us my age will recognize it uh, a million miles away. It's distinct. <laughs> yeah, it's, a distinct it, it's very special. I think it's very special and it's definitely an icon. So, um, yeah. So, I love the history of this, actually. Read up on it for yourself, and I wouldn't mind reading bits and pieces of different articles on my videos after I chat about it. If you guys want me to do that, let me know. And then those who don't want to hear it um, could just turn the video off. <laughs> but I will put the link to the other review, which I, I admire uh, that particular reviewer. I, I love all the reviewers, really. 
no matter everybody's got their own little spin on it and uh but i really like listening to him a lot especially about this one especially about vintage in general actually so with that being said tonight i might review this that i picked up today you totally hate this one I don't, you know, initially I didn't hate it when I first smelled it because I don't hate the idea of it being like ambery, warm, soapy, clean. I don't strong. totally hate this one. I don't hate it. However, after like about, like after the initial sniff, my stomach rolled and I felt like I was going to Well, let's up. save it for that review. Okay. But I grabbed this today and I also, like I said, I grabbed this Ellen Tracy, which either I'm not smelling it very well because of everything else we sprayed today or it, it's just really kind of a waste, which I'll have to see. But where's the bottle to it? I actually think it's a cute little bottle. And Fragrantica, people, there it had some fans on Fragrantica. I have to say I'm disappointed, but that's, I mean, that's a cute bottle, though. Is that the one I'm disliking, but, maybe? No, I doubt it's this one. This is hardly there, but um, I'll talk about that. Maybe we'll do them right after this. I don't know. Okay. But, yeah. So, yeah, I'll put that link and again, I hope you guys are having a fantastic summer. It's my favorite time of year. You're still. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching my mom's channel. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we love you guys for watching. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Peace.